Welcome to Jester's Day Nursery. Here at Jester's, we encourage children to be as creative, independent, and nurturing as they possibly can be. When children enter our lobby, we ask them to self-select their name, and then they can choose which peg they would like. We're always encouraging maths and English, that early mark making, that early writing, and reading. We encourage parents to take a storybook home with them every day. We have a parent board that we give lots of different information to. We have our parent comments, um, what they think about our nursery. We also have our staff certificates up in the lobby, our offset registration. And we have a board um, where we share some different types of learning, such as schematic behaviour for our very young children, or the importance of play. We encourage parents to look at our phonics table as well, so they know what type of phonics we're looking at, whether it is a letter for the week, or whether it is blending sounds, or finding high sounds and low sounds. We encourage children to come in independently as they can, so that they can hang their coats up, and then they're ready for the day. Welcome to our preschool room. Children who enter here are from the age of two to leaving, to starting school from four to five. So in here we have a range of areas. We have a cosy book corner where we read with the children. We, um, every day we look at the weather and the date and we talk about how we're feeling. We have a word of the week that we consider and we try and link with our phonics every week. They have a range of puppets to play with, lots of mark making opportunities. We encourage children to self-select all of their activities and their toys. Um, we encourage children to work together and share. We use positive behaviour charts uh, that we call ERIC, and ERIC stands for Effort, Respect, Independence and Communication. So we ask children to take turns, to self-select, to be a good friend, to tidy up and be kind to each other. As part of our curriculum, we cover seven areas of learning both prime and specific. We, so we have an ambitions calendar that has been carefully considered, lots of different activities, lots of nursery rhymes. Every month we look at a book. These books have been chosen by The Independent, The Guardian, The National Book Trust. We want to bring in as much cultural capital as we possibly can for the children, as well as promoting our British values. Part of that is our democracy, our individual liberty, making sure that children can turn take, they understand what is right and wrong. A part of our ambitions calendar is also looking at um, opportunities both indoors and outdoors, such as toasting marshmallows, catching a raindrop on your tongue, chasing your shadows. Each month it is um, changed so that both our two-year-olds and our preschool children have a wide variety of books and nursery rhymes. As part of the offer we have, we also um, have developed a really exciting extended curriculum. Each day the children have a very play-based phonics session. Sometimes we might look at a sound of the week. Sometimes we might look at tuning into different types of sounds, such as loud and quiet, high and low. We also offer STEM activities every week, where we're promoting science, technology, engineering and maths, so that children have a real love of experimenting, a real joy of finding out about the wider world. 
uh, one of the activities that we have done is cleaning pennies with different resources such as ketchup or vinegar. We cook and we look at nutrition every, every week, so we don't just bake cakes, um, we look at the importance of vegetables and fruit. In our garden we also grow vegetables. Last term we grew tomatoes, we've grown sunflowers, we use the herbs that we grow in our garden as well for our cooking. Another activity on our extended curriculum is yoga body and body matters. So we, we look at the whole child, we look at them holistically to ensure that they understand that exercise is important, that sleep is important, that cleaning your teeth is important. During the course of the day, children come in and they have a range of breakfast. We encourage the children to self-select as much as possible, so we're always bringing in maths and language and mark-making opportunities at every opportunity. So as you can see, the table is laid, but in the morning we would encourage them to choose what colour bowl they would like. Do they need a spoon? Or do they need a knife and a fork? Are they going to have milk or water? Would they like to pour their milk or water themselves? So constantly encouraging the children to be as independent as possible. We offer nutritional snacks as well throughout the day and they also have lunch and tea which is provided by the professional kitchen. We have a three week menu as well. There are vegetarian options um, as well as meat options. As part of our independence, we also have a really lovely cosy changing area. We encourage then children to use the potty and we support families with potty training and then becoming independent with our toilets. Hand washing is really important, so we teach how to wash our hands correctly. When they come in from the garden, before they have snack, after any kind of messy play. Each child is given um, a key person and that key person changes their nappy and helps them support um, their personal hygiene. Let's go into our baby area. This room is for our under twos. As you can see, there are still the same areas. We have um, a food area for them to have their snacks for social time. We have a home corner. We have a cozy corner where they can read. We have a creative sensory area and we have a sleep area. Each child in our nursery is assigned a key person. This person is very special to them. They will be the ones that will be working with them, nurturing their learning and nurturing them holistically. But because we are very small, everybody gets to know everybody else. It's very much a family run nursery. All the children join together for tea and lunch and sometimes when we have a story, our under twos will join our preschools as well. When we're in the garden, we encourage our older children to be good role models for our younger children and to show them how to do things independently and be there to support them. We go very much by what the parents want when it comes to snacks and lunch, bottles, and sleep. When children enter our nursery, we encourage them to have three settling in visits. This is where we would speak to the parents about their All About Me, finding out what their child likes, what their child dislikes, if they sleep on their side, if they have a particular sleep pattern, if they go to bed with a teddy, and we would offer as much support for their children as we possibly can. So let's go outside. We are so fortunate here at Jester's to have this most amazing space where we can see the wonderful farmland. Every season we watch the farmer come and plant this field, grow crops. We look at the tractor going around, we talk about nature, we have an amazing
amazing um, creative area outside. We children are able to access both the decking and the grass area whenever they like. So our doors are always open, and we encourage children to come in and out independently, self-selecting what they would like to play with. All our areas are covered out here. We encourage mark making early literacy, early number work, looking at size, looking at shape. We encourage children to be responsible for our environment as well, where they need to take care of the plants, watering the plants, nurturing the herbs, helping to snip the grass if it's quite long, um, making sure that if we find a ladybird, we put it somewhere safely. We plan for the children's interests independently. We plan for their next learning development against the development matters. We encourage them to be as creative and exploratory as we can. of loose park, large loose park, that the children can access and play with and they can move and move around. This is very much their nursery, it is their garden and they have the responsibility of not only looking after it but also the responsibility of how they would like to use it. So in this area they really wanted a digging area, a construction area, so they have chosen what they would like in here. They've got lots of large loose parts such as bricks and tubes. They've got stones to play with and to be creative. They also asked for a mud kitchen which we have supplied and we have the most amazing mud pies and mud soup that the children create. We're always looking at different ways to be creative, to be responsible to be kind to each other and to turn tape. Once our children leave us and they transition into school, they can also come to our before and after school and holiday club. We have very close links with our schools at Vic Maker. We encourage our school teachers to come in and to spend time with the children who are going to school. We ask them to bring in any photos, looking at the school uniform, so we make that transition into school as smooth as we possibly can. If your child goes to another nursery, we also would have very close links with that nursery to ensure that we are working on the same developmental step finding out about the child in another nursery as well. Parent relationships are really important to us. The way we keep in touch with our parents is a daily handover from that key person so they know what their child has been up to, if they've um, had any wow moments, if they've reached any milestones, if they've been um, a particularly good friend. We also use an online system called Tapestry where we log children's learning development, we take photos and we log it on there. We also write termly reports and we encourage parents to come in for our parents' evenings every term as well. So thank you for coming to Jester's. We hope you've enjoyed this show round and we look forward to hearing from you very soon.